destruction at Briarwood and Plaza Towers Elementary Schools on May 20th has put school safety in the spotlight. Districts all over the state are asking, what can we do to keep students safer during severe weather? Well, on the plains of southwestern Oklahoma, one school district says it's way ahead of the curve. Tonight, we go inside what they call a tornado-proof school. Geronimo, Oklahoma. A wide spot in the road off I-44 just south of Lawton, a small town that if you're not paying attention, you just might miss. But what is sure to catch your attention as you drive by are these unusual dome-shaped buildings. They may look funny, but their design just might save lives during a tornado. So there's classrooms on both sides of these walls, and then, of course, the lockers line the walls. Those strange-looking structures are actually Geronimo's high school and junior high. Monolithic domes, five connected pods, as they call them, built to withstand an EF-5 tornado. Classrooms start peeling off. It's like a pie. School board member Michael Johnson took us on a tour. This is the gym. What makes the curved roof safer than a traditional square building? Johnson compares it to a basketball. It has no real sharp edges for the wind to push on. Uh, it deflects a lot of, the, of Mother Nature, of Oklahoma's wind. Um, and it's entirely made of concrete. Concrete walls, floors, and even that strange round roof. They built a big fan in one of these doors, and they just pumped that trampoline up. And then they sprayed concrete, layer after layer after layer, for weeks. Four years since moving in, students and teachers have no fear when the tornado sirens sound. You can just think, hey, I can stay in class. There's no windows I have to worry about, and there's no panic. But most schools don't have that luxury. Very few have shelters, and adding one to an existing school, that's an expensive proposition. But weather experts say we really shouldn't worry. Schools are actually fairly safe places to be for kids in Oklahoma. NOAA research meteorologist Dr. Harold Brooks says just 13 children have died in schools during tornadoes in Oklahoma's entire history, including the seven from Plaza Towers Elementary. And there have probably been more people killed going to and from school than there have been killed in tornadoes. So even though it's a terrible thing to have happen, it's not that big of a threat. For the 150 junior high and high school students at Geronimo, it's a risk they're glad they don't have to take. Dr. Brooks agrees monolithic domes are a safe option for schools. Johnson says they're also energy efficient and cheaper to build. Other school districts in the state have built multi-purpose monolithic buildings instead of entire schools, a realistic option for larger districts. For more information on it, go to news9.com.